Bryce, please don't be as crazy as Claire. I don't know why she's so happy about the murder. Also, it didn't really let us ask anything about Iris. I was like, Iris? It's like, yeah, yeah, Iris. Yeah, that's Iris. So was your husband cheating on you with Iris? Or did he move on and he didn't want to be with you anymore? What? Did you just... Oh, hey, Bryce looks actually kind of better. Hello, Doctor. I've been thinking about our last session. And I just wanted you to know that I'm not a bad person. I know taking naked photographs is wrong. Really? But you don't know what it's like until you face the same temptation. I'm assuming you don't know what it's like. Do you have an extra hour, Doctor? <laughs> Holy... Okay, Jib, do we have an extra hour? No. No, I... Don't have an extra hour. Thank God for that. <laughs> sure There's yes. someone else in my hour. A hooded figure. Watching me and following me. Well... I followed it too. Oh, oh, what? What? It's gonna be him. It's gonna be a fucking time paradox and it's him. No, that's stupid. One question, one answer. That works best. Hooded figure. I don't know who it is. My initial thought was that it was you. Pleasant! I told you about my affliction and, and somehow you'd got it too. Now I think maybe it's the military or some organization that wants to use the hour themselves. <laughs> the military? Maybe it's Dr. Decker, risen from the dead. I need to talk to you about him. Oh, God. Claire raised Dr. Decker from the dead. He came to kill us. She is the killer. Ah! She's already a killer, so I mean... In simple terms... Whatever it is that's following me, it doesn't want to catch me yet. Go if I move towards it, it runs away. And when I follow it, I follow it past temptations. A bar brawl, an open till, an open bedroom window. Like, it's testing me. I think that I'm becoming a good person, Doctor. I'm ashamed of some of the things I've done, but I'm getting better. Really? The hooded figure. It's testing my morals. Judging me. For what? I don't know. We're all judging you. Maybe for the naked photos you took of people without them knowing because you were using your time stop powers. Uh, but I have time to time stop it. Bitch, shut up. It doesn't want to catch me yet. If I move towards it... Catch you yet? I have nothing interesting to... Whatever okay. it is that's following me, it doesn't want to catch me yet. If I move towards it, it runs away. And when I follow it, I follow it past temptations. A bar brawl, an open till, an open bedroom... Okay, brawl, window, and tail. I split the brawl up. Tail? I did nothing. I'm not stealing anymore. I'm proud of you, Bryce. I looked in. Watching other people has somehow built into our genes, Doctor. It is, actually. There was an old woman in bed. We are called the social ape. I went inside. Her bed covers were smoking. I think she'd fallen asleep holding a cigarette. I took the covers and put them in the bath. She'd have died otherwise. And no, I didn't take any pictures. I'm proud of you, Bryce. You're doing better. 
I don't know who it is. My initial thought was that it was you. Oh? That I told you about my affliction and, and somehow you'd got it too. Now I think maybe it's the military or some organization that wants to... Military, yeah, that, that was it. Mm. I'm surprised I haven't been approached earlier. I mean, my skills and the military. Special ops would be a breeze, wouldn't it? Waltz in past everyone during the midnight hour. Get whatever you want and return to friendly soil. I mean, it also our... makes me think that they might already know all of that. And that they want to get rid of me in case I tell anyone else. Would you do something for me if... if they get me? Yes. Yes, I would do something for you. We would do would anything you for you. I love her. She didn't really know me. Which that one's well, Jessica? I did love her. And also, there's a hard drive in the bottom drawer of my drinks cabinet. Please destroy it. Please don't look at it. Jessica's the woman I think you took photos of. Jessica is a beautiful woman. I think so. I've not spied on her since the incident. Yeah, see, the one he likes that he's been spying on. I have on. real feelings for her, Doctor. I just. We've never connected. Yeah, basically, he likes her and he knows that he's never going to get her. And. He... Yeah, luckily he hasn't done really. Uh, Jessica is a beautiful woman. I've not spied on her since the incident we talked about. I have real feelings for her, Doctor. I just. We've never. Never connected? Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. It's nice you think I'm capable of such basic interaction with females. But I'm still in awe of her, really. I will think about it, though. I, I feel bad for Bryce because I think he's got generalized social anxiety disorder. And having the whole time stop thing has just made it worse. Would you tell Jessica I love her? She didn't really know me that well, but I did love her. And also... Hard? Let's ask about the hard drive. There's a hard drive with all the pictures I've ever taken. Uh... The one in the bottom drawer of my drinks cabinet. Don't let Jessica see it. Sure, I'll take care of that hard drive, Bryce. Thank you. Uh, okay, let's ask about smuggling. But first, let's ask if he knows anything about David's burial. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about, Doctor. I saw Claire Castleford's husband in the coffin myself before carrying him to the grave. Why? He is in the ground. Why was I'm sure it wouldn't take to... much for the police to get an order to have him exhumed. Just make sure it's done on Tuesday morning when I'm off. Are we literally having a back and forth between patients? Sounds about right. Okay. Dr. Decker frequently used that paper spike on his desk as an example. I'm sure he did it with the other patients too. He'd make me look at it, touch the point to see how sharp it was. What? He'd tell me that because I think it's sharp, it'll hurt me. What? But if I thought it was nothing, 
it could pass right through my hand. No! No! What? What? Dr. Decker frequently used that paper. Tell in the last Bill couple of sessions, I had in the chat. put the spike through his hand. Uh. He'd be grinning at me while he was doing it. No blood, no nothing. He tried to make me do the same, but I wouldn't. Yeah, get tell Bill to come watch the stream. This is this game has gone nah. really weird. I'm not going to do that. He will be completely clueless. Uh, no, no, okay. Well, it doesn't matter his job. How is your job? I put my hand through a rusty nail at work today. It hurt like hell and bled like I'd been shot. I closed my eyes and thought, this isn't happening. The nail is just a worm. You wriggled you when I looked back, can you guess what I saw? A worm. <laughs> my hand had healed. The nail had become a worm and was wriggling in my palm. It was like a little miracle. Like magic. Magic you say? I shouldn't really say miracle or magic. They're words that Dr. Decker used when he tried to get you to think things and make them real. But do you think it's real, Doctor? That magic is real? No. No, magic is not real. Okay, technically it is real. It's well, I mean, that depends. Are they all just crazy and it just happens in all Cthulhu? And so it isn't. I envy you, Doctor. I wish I could be so sure. Uh, well, any more relics? That means nothing to me. I put my hand through a rusty nail at work today. It hurt like hell and bled like I'd been shot. I closed my eyes and thought, this isn't happening. The nail is just a worm, and it will wriggle through me. When I looked back, can you guess what I saw? Okay, that doesn't tell us anything. No, I've never killed anyone. But then, even if I had, I'm not likely to tell you about it, am I, Doctor? Have you... Have you been spied? I never spied on you at midnight. But if you start acting strangely... Maybe I will. Pleasant! Uh... Well, that's what he would say, isn't it? Useful! You're very useful! Don't know. I spied on Dr. Decker not long before he was murdered. I'm not sure I should tell you what I saw in his basement. Is this going to be more stuff about his, about Iris? Why was Iris in his I've been basement? feeling uneasy with Dr. Decker for some time. I mentioned how he'd changed before. 
so I began spying on him at home. One night, the basement door was open, and Decker was returning upstairs. I skipped past him, and there she was, a girl. It was difficult to tell. It, it was dark, and she was chained. A girl? I don't know. Chained. Is that supposed to mean something? Chained girl. I removed the chains, dressed her, and sat her in the police station. There's no evidence, though. No evidence of what he'd done. But she was free. I saved her. I'm not evil. I destroyed evil. So he's the one that freed Iris. Okay. What police station? No. You have an interesting aura, Doctor. What the hell does that have to do with anything? No, I didn't feel lustful, Doctor. What? No, no, no. I was angry. If I had taken pictures, there would at least have been some evidence. A sicker man would have taken pictures and saved the day. They're just... Claire's a Claire's Claire's bed and breakfast is just a bunch of steak knife beds that vibrate in the middle of the night. I removed the chains, dressed her, and sat her in the police station. There's no evidence though. No evidence of what he'd done. But she was free. I saved her. I'm not evil. I destroyed evil. Destroyed evil? I believe that Dr. Decker was a truly evil man, and so should you. I know you record these sessions, Doctor. I'm not going to be filmed saying I wanted him dead. But I did, and so should you. And Doctor, if I wanted to kill anyone, I'd do it in the midnight hour, wouldn't I? And when was Decker murdered? I mean, you got me there. <laughs> you got me there. I don't know what you'll get. The midnight hour. No. I wanted to just agree with him. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. No. I don't. Okay, uh, we're not done with Bryce yet still. Uh, let's see. I don't know who it is. My initial thought was that it was you. That I told you about my affliction and, and somehow you'd got it too. Now I think maybe it's the military or some organization that wants to use the hour themselves. Maybe it's Dr. Decker risen from the dead. I need to talk to you about him. I don't know what you're getting at. I've nothing interesting. I put my hand through a rusty nail at work today. It hurt like hell and bled like I'd been shot. I closed my eyes and thought, this isn't happening. The nail is just a worm. Is that supposed to mean? No. I don't often see auras, Doctor. Yours is unusual. Like, you're more than one person. 
Maybe I've had a few too many drams. In simple terms, the game knows that we're a player. You know, uh... I spied on Dr. Decker not long before he was murdered. I'm not sure I should tell you what I saw in his basement. We asked about the basement, didn't we? I spied on Dr. Decker not long before he was murdered. I'm not sure I should tell you what I saw in his. Don't know. Did you see the murderer? That means nothing to me. In simple terms, I've. I don't know what you'll just say Iris. The girl who was chained in the basement. Her name is Iris. How do you know that? Not that it means anything. She wouldn't remember me anyway. Time was frozen. Don't know. I don't know. Okay, how to figure I don't know who it is. My initial thought was that it was you. Yeah. That I told you about my affliction and, and somehow you'd got it too. Now I think maybe it's the military or some organization that wants to use the hour themselves. Maybe it's Dr. Decker risen from the... Sometimes a grave I've dug becomes undug. People blame it on grave robbers. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe the grave was undug from the inside out, not the outside in. Only a grave digger would know. Okay, well, that's... I didn't need an extra hour to realize Dr. Decker was strange. Really? I never would have guessed. He seems so normal with his patience. Let's talk to Elin. I'm okay, I suppose. Works fine. Hilda's fading fast. Terry's Terry. I feel a bit sad, to be honest. Okay, I let's... all my keepsakes back. Oh, that's sad. I mean, you could have earned those. By murdering your patients. Hilda's nearing the end. She's been sleeping a lot. Not eating much. She hasn't been that argumentative either. Although, she did give me a vicious scratch yesterday. What about Terry? How's he doing? Terry seems to have backed down since I gave the keepsakes back. Actually, it doesn't seem like she's been very well. Not her usual self. Maybe she's got a bug or something. Are you poisoning Terry to kill her? Uh. I know it's silly, but those things meant a lot to me. They were reminders that I'd helped those people. I don't blame you. I mean, 
I kind of feel bad for you. Well, I've thought about it. And well, I know you said it was okay that I should keep them, but maybe it did look a bit suspicious, me having things that have belonged to patients who have died in my care. I don't want people to get the wrong idea about me. The locket, the watch, the ring, even the little bird Sarah Decker gave me. I wasn't supposed to mention her. Who's Sarah Decker? Who's Sarah Decker? Dr. Decker's mother. She was one of my first patients, but she died a while ago. Oh, good. 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 This is just Dr. getting Decker's weird. Dr. Decker's mother. She was one of my first patients, but she died a while ago. A while ago? I don't know. How long ago did Sarah die? I can't remember exactly. I'd only just started seeing Dr. Decker. Huh. Oh, and there's still more things to do with Sarah Decker. Good. Well, I've thought about it. And well, I know. So this is different than okay, exactly what we said it was them, okay to keep them. Maybe it did look a bit suspicious me having things that have belonged to patients who have died in my care. I don't want people to get the wrong idea about me. The locket, the watch, the ring, even the little bird Sarah Decker gave me. I wasn't supposed to mention her. Why were not to mention her? I don't know anything about that. Little Bird. It was just a little china bird, sort of a yellowy blue pattern on it. I don't think it's worth anything. Okay. Uh... Hilda's nearing the end. She's been sleeping a lot, not eating much. She hasn't been that argumentative either. Although... She did give me a vicious scratch yesterday. It was nothing. Oh, this is getting weird. I was just trying to give her meds. It's hard, you know? I'm trying to help her, but she keeps fighting me. It'll be better after she's seen her daughter. I've decided I'm going to do it tonight. She hasn't got much time left. Not much time left, you say? Whatever ominous thing could that mean? Uh, not much time left. Sorry, I wish I could help. Okay, this is just... It just makes things complicated, doesn't it? I knew Dr. Decker's mother before I started seeing Dr. Decker. She's dead, and now he's dead. I'm sure you're going to have a field day with it. No, I'm not. All these powers are fairly useful in the right hands. Did you know she was his mother? Uh, no. Sarah Decker was Dr. Decker's mother. Yeah, that's the reason I came to see him. I knew she was dying, but he refused to talk to me unless I booked a session, so I did. And well... Here we are. Pleasant. Pleasant person, he sounds like. I didn't really know what I was doing that first time. I mean, I didn't actually expect anything to happen. I just thought, what would really help this woman? 
I thought maybe she would just imagine that he was there. But it actually happened. I changed into him. Dr. Decker. It blew my mind. She'd secretly been Dr. Decker this whole time. Kill her. Bang, 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 bang. Do what tonight? You know the answer to that, Doctor. What have we been talking about? What can I do for Hilda that will make it all better? Kill her. I don't know. Kill Hilda. Seriously? No. That isn't what I meant. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Shift into her daughter. And lesbian it up. That's the plan. I know. I wish I could prove it to you somehow. Um, we could try shifting now. Uh, think of someone you really love. It might help if you close your eyes. Are you thinking of them? Can you picture them? Okay, hold on. <sighs> Sorry, I don't think it's gonna work. On the bright side, that probably means you're not gonna die anytime soon. Pleasant. Just type that in, pleasant. That doesn't really matter. Let's talk about something else. Uh, the, also, Jim, it worked. I typed in lesbian it up, and it worked. It worked. Know, it's hilarious. <laughs> it... We <laughs> a plus gaming. <sighs> what if it was intentional, and they're actually going to do that? The whole world's going to hell. All gone to sure shit. At the very least, it should make her feel more comfortable, ease her suffering. Okay, uh. Aren't you breaking the rules by? Giving Hilda herbs. It's fine. It's not going to hurt her. And the doctors at the home don't care much. They're hardly around anyway. They're all, all too busy doing drugs. Patients. Besides, Dr. Decker didn't have a problem with it. Yes, but I'm not Dr. Decker. And let's look at it this way. Where's Dr. Decker now, Ellen? Where's Dr. Decker now? All right, six In feet under. Pants. Oh. Oh. Plot twist, you're Dr. Decker? I just don't recognize your fucked up face. Plot twist, no. this is a Metal Gear Solid game? No, no. Kojima wrote this? No. Plot twist? There's a plot twist. Is that really what you want to talk about? Uh... That's the plan. I know. It sounds um. I love that just every time we get a click on that. It's tricky. I mean, I'll sound exactly like Hilda's daughter, but I try and keep it vague because... I don't become her. I don't know what she would really say. I, I say things like, it's okay, don't be scared, I love you mum, or I love you dad. But it doesn't really matter what their relationship's like because it's not really them. I always do the Disney version, the best, most loving version. That's what my patients want to hear. 
And maybe deep down, they know it's not the truth, but it's got to be better than the reality. No, no. <sighs> Does it really matter if it isn't the truth? Isn't it worth it if it brings them peace? It's not real peace. Tell me honestly, Doctor. Do you really think that what I'm doing is wrong? Yes. We've been over this several times, Ellen. You're lying to So you're to saying I should let Hilda die without seeing her daughter one last time? Yes. You shouldn't lie to her. Ask me something else. I don't know if I could do that, Doctor. I'd be letting her down. I'd have to think about it. You're still going to do it. I know you are, Ellen. You're bad at this. It's tricky. I mean, I'll sound exactly like Hilda's daughter, but I try and keep it vague because I don't become her. I don't know what she would really say. I, I say things like, it's okay, don't be scared, I love you, Mum, or I love you, Dad. But it doesn't really matter what their relationship's like because it's not really them. I always do the Disney version. The best, most loving version. That's what my patients want to hear. And maybe deep down they know it's not the truth, but it's got to be better than the reality. The reality is that most of these people have been completely abandoned by their families, usually their children. If a mother abandons her children, it's scandalous. But if a son or daughter abandons their mother when she's dying after everything she's done for them, apparently that's just normal. I doubt they're... I can protect my patients from that. Even if it does take a little smoke and mirrors. Honestly, what it sounds like is that you're the night nurse and you assume because the kids aren't there 24-7, they've abandoned their parents. Yeah, because there's way too many pe people for it to be that they're all being abandoned by their kids. That's just statistics. It's weird. We're in England. It's heavily dense. There's over 120 people per square kilometer. I kind of agree like with her. You're clutching at straws. I, but you're the reality wrong. is that most of these people have been completely. So what if by you're family. wrong? Did you consider Usually that in your logic children. facts bullshit? If a mother abandons her children, it's scandalous. But if a son or daughter abandons their mother when she's dying after everything she's done for them, apparently that's just normal. I can protect my patients from that. It's like I'm a mirror and I'm just reflecting back to them what they want to see. But I can like, okay, so my face, my hair, my clothes, my voice, everything. Okay, so most of the time people can spend the time to get down and spend time with the family. And yeah, I, I don't I don't want you to explain it. I don't care enough. I was pointing out that based on popularity... I, I, I'm good. <sighs> Fine. Just don't, don't listen. It's fine. It's not going to hurt her. And the doctors at the home don't care much. Doctors... don't... care? Uh... She's not around? Oh, you're trying Endless Ask Legends Dream? Else. Nice. That one's a dud. I don't know. It's true then. I'd heard Dr. Decker was stabbed, but I didn't know for sure. It's weird. But whoever did it would choose the paper spike. 
Dr. Decker used to play with it in our sessions sometimes. You know, pick it up, handle it while we talked. I remember once, he pushed the spike through his skin. Yet this bit here between his thumb and his finger, he said he didn't think I'd mind the sight of blood being a nurse and all that, but actually there wasn't any. I was a bit freaked out. At first, I thought it was a trick. A magic trick, you know? Like some kind of therapeutic test. Show the patient this retractable spike and see how they react. But it wasn't. The spike was real. That doesn't really matter. Let's talk about something else. Right, okay. Let's, before we do that. Okay, that just gets the Terry thing. I was a bit freaked out. At first, I thought it was a trick. A magic trick, you know? Like some kind of therapeutic test. Show the patient this retractable spike and see how they react. But it wasn't. Dr. Decker gave me the paper spike to try. It wasn't fake. <laughs> it was pretty sharp, actually. I don't know how he did it. He said he just thought that it wouldn't hurt him, so it didn't. Wow, we're done with Ellen. Okay. Do, 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 do. Do. Well, Jib, what do you want to do next? Marion? I think we're doing Marion. Let's go down the list. 